Hello, welcome to my presentation. My name is Hirad and uh, I have been working on ARP5 as a PhD candidate in Uni Adelaide under supervision of Frank and Marcus and our industry partner is ECA. So uh, my project is under uh, optimization logistic group in program A and its main objective is modeling and optimization of front of mind stock by recovery which is connected to ATP4 as a transition partner project. So the key findings of our project have been that we model the stock by management problem as a scheduling optimization problem. We prioritized avoiding financial penalty fees over other interest specification we ensured that undesirable properties do not exceed certain limits in the outcome. We also observed that iterative algorithms can construct an efficient schedule uh, leading to improving the decision support. So the end, so the usefulness for the end user uh, could be reducing operation costs, scheduling deliveries with good accuracy, rapid decision making for planning stock points and maximizing value. So let's look at what is the normal, normal stack points recovery. Uh, how trucks transport ore from the mine to raw stack points and deposit it there. And raw stack points are essential components as temporary storage to balance inflow and outflow in the upstream of the mining. A stack point a scheduler, after that, they should determine how to reclaim the structure for selective addition of ore from different raw stack points for the next stage. But there exist some technical limits such as chemical concentration, operational constraints, and particle size distribution that failure to meet these can result in losing money. So what is missing in practice is that reclamation operations, moving machines from one point to another, relocation of those can take time and incur costs. Currently, human experts schedule how to reclaim stockpiles often using rule of thumbs, but human decision making is uh, naturally error prone. Planning by human is subject to limited decision support and lower ability to consider the upcoming plans and requests. So, poor operational plan uh, can result in significant penalty fees, increasing operation costs unexpected loss in practice or even variability in decision making and operation. So these are our end user challenges according to the performa. They have difficulty in optimally planning the claiming sequences. They have problems with ensuring that undesirable properties with respect to the ore, they do not exceed certain limits. They have difficulty in confidently adding lower grade ores into a plan to improve a stock availability and even they have hard to account and plan for incoming material as well as outgoing material with the ability to find a feasible plan if an unforeseen event was happen. We modeled this real fault issue as a scheduling optimization problem and in the next step we try to solve this optimization problem. So here you can see a schematic of the problem statement that we have a stockyard model that is coming out of the GPS data and the laser scanning model of the uh, Rama cycles and the GPS data of the whole trucks uh, through ATP4 that can lead to a model, a stockyard model that has been discretized. Uh, and every part of that discretized model, we call it a cut, that each cut has its own tonnage, properties, uh, good material, bad material, etc. Other technical restrictions and end user preferences are also input for our optimization models, such as precedence constraints, that for example, we cannot take a, a lower bench before we take the above bench of that cut. Recovery costs, that how much does it cost to take a cut from that stockpile with respect to relocation of the machine and the time that it takes to take that material from the stockpile. Delivery requirements with respect to what the customer wants and the safety constraints that reclaimer machines cannot come close to each other with respect to a safety threshold. So these are all input to the optimization model. And after that, we develop some planning strategies that are mainly a step-by-step -step solution construction heuristics uh, to deal with that, uh, especially the presence constraints. And the outcome would be the Rama stack by recovery schedule for all machines. 
So what is a good solution in our approach is that we are looking for a schedule that all reclaimers meet the technical limits, as I mentioned before, and we also reduce operation costs. But to avoid paying the penalty fees is the highest priority for the provider, otherwise they should pay uh, financial penalty fees. So we assess a quality of a solution with a three tuple that first we look at the average penalty with respect to how much a solution for a delivery is uh, violating that uh, bad material threshold and the window penalty that is another thing that has been asked from our industry part and the utility that we would like to reclaim more material in a shorter time. So first, the violation of penalty material for each request should be as close as possible to zero. And for the second priority, we are going to minimize the utility. So we have applied three type of uh, solution construction heuristic to the problem. The first one, which is the greedy algorithm, is the most simple one. That when an agent, when a reclaimer machine, take some material from one stockpile, some other cuts would be available to that machine, and the machine chooses the next cut uh, in a greedy manner. It goes for the best item that is available at that time. This is fast forward, but we have observed that it may trap in local optima. Uh, as we increase the number of deliveries, as we try to plan for a uh, more uh, upcoming future. So the other uh, approach is that we randomize this gate algorithm. So gate algorithm is exact, but we add some randomness to that approach to choose what we are going to add to the solution in a probabilistic manner. So we have one parameter lambda there, that this lambda uh, determines the amount of greediness of the random SKD algorithm. And the, the other thing is ant colony optimization algorithm that is somehow an iterative random SKD algorithm, but uh, this is inspired by natural behavior of ants uh, where they try to find food. Uh, that is resembled in this mathematical format, that the probability is dependent on a, a quality of the paths that they are taking, quality of the solutions that they are adding, and also that how much, uh, how much this path is attractive to that S. So this can lead to a, a probabilistic uh, equation. So we try uh, these algorithms by, and we also fine tune our algorithms using the iris package. And we can see that for the greedy algorithm, uh, for the random greedy algorithm on the left, we have find a couple of solutions for different instances. And we can see that two parameters have been tuned because it has only two parameters to be tuned. Uh, but the ACO has more parameters that has been uh, shown on the right. So uh, we can see that for different instances, that each instance shows that number of the deliveries, number of the machines, and, and the type of recovery that could be only south uh, to north, or even both of them as south to north and north to south. Uh, so as future works, uh, we have seen that human in the design loop can uh, be helpful to obtain more efficient and practical solutions with respect to the end user preferences. And the other thing is that a stacking component can be added for dynamic simulation of the recovery and stacking. So as an acknowledgement, I would like to thank my supervisors, uh, Professor Newman and Associate Professor Wagner for the guide, uh, Mr. Ben Kosh and Mr. Chris Garcia from ICA for their uh, cooperative support, Shisha and Almin Mohic working, uh, for working on uh, ATP4 and members of our group for their moral support and the research consortium for funding this project. Uh, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Uh, 
uh, thank you for listening.